what's up how we doing how's it going i'm drinking from my mickey mouse mug and also wearing a mickey mouse sweater um thanks for letting me borrow this mick <laughs> A few months ago, I put out a video of me doing some fake henna freckles, and that was super fun. That video has received such a great response, and I'm so grateful and so happy that so many of you guys liked it. Since then, however, I have sort of perfected my henna freckle routine. Not that the freckles didn't turn out well that time, but there are a couple of things that I've changed and a couple of things that I would recommend differently in this month than I did a few months ago after having worked with henna freckles and worked with henna a few times. So I've got my henna here <laughs> and essentially what I'm going to do today is apply henna kind of twice. So once for a few hours and then I'll take that off and apply a second layer of henna and let that sit for longer. So that kind of gives me depth and variance in color and variance in shape and size. Some of them will overlap and things will just kind of look a little bit more natural and a little bit more put together rather than looking too uniform. Right now I'm letting my henna defrost. Um, a couple of you guys asked how I store my henna. I leave it in the freezer. It is real fresh henna. Technically you're only supposed to unfreeze it a handful of times. I've unfrozen this definitely more than that, but it still works and it's still good and I'm going to use it all. I got this henna from Henna Caravan, but um, personally I am going to get my next order of henna from a different company that I will list here as well as the description below. I realized that the henna from Henna Caravan, while it is really good, it is a white American owned company and I figured I would feel better um, and it just would be better to put money back in the pockets of the people from which henna originated so yeah i i just want to be as ethical as possible about this and also be mindful of the culture and the history behind henna all that being said let's get into the fun stuff as far as prep goes last time what i did is i put like oil on my face um, I've done more research since and have received some advice thanks to you guys and apparently putting oil on your face makes the henna last not as long and I recently tried it or a few weeks ago tried it without any oil on my face or any additional oil on my face other than of course my like natural oils and that worked wonders the henna was so much darker and richer and overall just looked so much better and it also definitely lasted longer so of course it totally depends on your skin type and how much oil your skin produces if you have oily skin it might only last a couple of days if you have drier skin it might last a little bit longer it's recommended that you leave it on for at least two to three hours so that it does have time to like penetrate your skin and develop. The longer you leave it, the darker the color will be and the longer it will last. I do think it's like a maximum of eight hours for development. So anything over eight hours just isn't gonna make a difference. Some people like to put it on while they sleep. Some people like to do it at any other time of the day. Totally up to you. I don't love sleeping with it on my face. I think I kind of like touch my face too much while I sleep. So it does kind of start coming off. Just a personal preference. I think I've covered everything so now we can definitely get to the fun part. Let's apply this henna. <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna tie my hair back so that it's not in my face. <laughs> so whenever I apply henna, I like to apply it to the bridge of my nose first, and then I work my way out. The idea here is I like to apply it to, I guess, the high points of my face, which are my nose and my cheekbones. I do apply some on my forehead, but not very many. Um, there isn't like really a map that I like to map out. If you'd like, you can definitely pull up a reference photo. I would suggest doing that, especially if it's your first time doing henna, unless you already kind of know what you're doing or just trust that you're gonna do this right. Totally up to you. Also, I feel like when you're doing henna, henna is pretty forgiving. Definitely be sure to vary in size. I like to do some small dots and then also kind of create slightly larger circles 
it's totally cool if they're like oblong and like not really a circle like these guys over here they're doing construction outside and it's so annoying but it's way too hot in here to like close the window <laughs> so i just kind of have to deal with it i'm sorry i'm just gonna go ahead and apply all of um the freckles or the first layer of freckles and you guys can just follow along with me <music> I think it's important to make sure that you do slightly larger dots. Definitely vary your sizes for two reasons. One, you wanna vary your size so that it doesn't look too uniform, that it looks natural, if that's the look that you're going for. And also the larger or the thicker the application, the darker the spots will be and the better they will develop. Now that I'm done with the initial application, I'm gonna let this sit for two to three hours, take it off and then do one more application and let that sit for like six, or honestly, as long as I can. <laughs> I am going to just let this sit. I'll take this off and get back to you when it's time to apply the next round of penna. <laughs> This is the results of the first application. I've had the henna on for two, maybe three hours. And yeah, this is what it looks like. As you can see, um, they are pretty faint. It's nothing crazy. Had I left them on for longer, they would have looked darker. But I think there's a huge difference between putting on oil on my face and leaving the henna on for two, three hours and doing it on just my unmoisturized morning face <laughs> um, and leaving it on. I think it's clearly penetrated better. It's darker. It looks, you know, like a richer color. When you first take off your henna, it's gonna look orange. It's gonna be a little orangey and kind of light. It will take like 24 hours to fully develop. As it continues to get air, it will darken and deepen. So this layer will darken and deepen over the next, you know, day. But in another couple hours, I will be doing a second layer of henna and then I'll show you the results of both layers kind of tomorrow. <laughs> um, hey, so I just had some lunch um, and now it's time to reapply the next coat of henna. This is gonna look pretty much exactly like it looked the last time, not particularly exciting or riveting. Just gonna go ahead and start applying all over my face in the same way that I did before. <laughs>
I'm almost done, but I do want to say that you shouldn't be afraid to like clump a lot of them together. Like over here, this looks like one large clump. That's totally fine. Freckles are like all different shapes and sizes and they're not like perfectly circular all over your face. So having something like that, really not a big deal. They're kind of like snowflakes in that sense where they're all unique, they're all different. They just kind of do their thing. Um, cool. I do want to say that when you are ordering your henna, make sure that it's real henna. Don't order that cheap crap from Amazon that comes in those little bottles with those metal applicators. Don't do it. Don't do that. Those are filled with chemicals that could be really harmful to your skin, really harmful to you if it gets into your eyes. Real henna is very inexpensive. It's all natural and it's definitely the way to go when it comes to applying henna to your skin, especially when it comes to applying henna to your face. Now that this has all been applied, it's like 2.30 right now. I'm just gonna let this sit for the next like four hours and and I'll get back to you when it's time to wash it off. By the time it's time to get back to you, it will be dark outside, so it'll be super duper hard to see what in natural lighting what it looks like, but I will be sure to show you tomorrow morning once everything is all developed and the henna has had enough time to darken um, and look less orange. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go about the rest of my day. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hello friends, just a quick update. I just took off the henna and this is what it looks like. There's no natural light coming in right now, but hopefully you can kind of see generally what it looks like right now. I wanna kind of show you what it looks like after I first take it off because when I show you tomorrow morning, it'll be a lot more developed. But yeah, this is what it looks like. So excited to see you in the morning, super excited to see how it turns out, excited to show you guys. All right, I'll see you soon. Hey guys, so I accidentally deleted my results video from the next day. Um, so it has been a few days now. I did the freckles on Monday and I filmed the video, the results video on Tuesday morning and now it's Thursday morning. So it's been a few days, but the freckles have held up pretty well, shockingly. I'm super impressed with the way that these turn out. Last time I did them, they literally only lasted like two, three days and now we're coming on like four days. So this is pretty good. My skin is a little dry. I do need to moisturize it. So sorry if it looks a little crusty, dusty, but <laughs> definitely let me know what you guys think. I definitely want to hear your opinions. If you do try this out, please let me know. Comment down below letting you know what your results were or tag me on Instagram or DM me on Instagram letting me know what your results were. I'm super curious to see i'm super happy that these turned out well um last time they literally only lasted like two three days and now it's we're coming on four days so that's a major difference it's a huge upgrade from last time <laughs> I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I really appreciate all the support and all the um, positive reviews that my last video got. You guys have been so amazing and so lovely. If you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you're not, thank you for coming back. Don't forget to hit the little bell button for notifications when I post new videos. Thank you guys so much for 300 subscribers. That's huge, it's major. All that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you, I really appreciate you. I will see you guys in the next video, bye-bye. <laughs>